Not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before participating in this or any other exercise program. If you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness, do not continue. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercise and instruction herein. Welcome to Power Yoga Mind and Body. My name's Adrian Reed. Our theme for today is legs and hips. So when you're ready guys, just step on up to the front of your mats. We're gonna bend your knees, grasp your elbows, and just fall forward, get a little bit of a warm up here. Let your spine get nice and long, your head feel nice and heavy, your neck feel nice and soft. And just use this as a moment to bring awareness to your breath. So nice, calm, easy inhales and exhales in and out through your nose. If you feel good here, you can go ahead and straighten up your legs a little bit, get a little more out of your calves, your hamstrings, your hips, your lower back. Just try and leave that upper body nice and relaxed and long. See if you can hollow your lower belly while you're here to get a little bit more through that stretch. And if you straighten your knees, go ahead and bend them slightly. On a long inhale, roll up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Let your head and chin come up last. Nice job. Once you get up there, drop your hands down by your sides. Let's keep it moving. We're going to take a big step back with your left leg. We're going to float into triangle here, guys. So you should be aligned heel to heel. Your back foot is at a 45 degree angle. We're going to inhale. I want you to sweep your hands just down by your waist. So I want you to square your hips toward the front edge of your mat. And we're going to lower on down into almost like an airplane position. For those that have done our airplane class, we're falling down with your hands down by your waist. So we're going to call this waist. Your back should be in a nice tabletop position. Let's go two more deep breaths here. So long inhales and exhales, your torso is up just like a tabletop. And exhale, you're gonna sweep into a shoulder position. So fingers come a little further forward than your shoulders and then the back of your hands draw up slightly toward the ceiling, which gives you a little bit more work through here. Let's go two more breaths there, looking good. And you can bend your front knee if you need, if that's a little too much for you. And then exhale, draw your hands overhead. So we're gonna call that position ears. So your arms are right by your ears. You're lengthening sit bones to fingertips. Give me two more breaths there. I know that's a hard one. You're really long through the torso here. And then after that second breath, sweep down and drop both hands to either side of that right leg. So you're just falling into a nice forward fold here. Fall for a couple of breaths. Nice, long, easy breaths here. See if you can relax and square through your hips. So right hip coming back, left hip coming forward. Inhale, I want you to draw your hands to your waist, bring your torso back up to hips height, and we're gonna swing to center. So you're gonna draw your torso forward and sweep your feet so they're both pointing toward the long edge of your mat. We're gonna draw your hands down to a waist position. There you go, so hands are gonna drop down by your waist. Looking good, let's go a couple more good breaths there. So once again, you should be in that tabletop position. So your body is, your upper body is just nice and straight and strong. Exhale, let's sweep up into a shoulder position. So hands come a little further forward than your shoulders. Back of your hands come up if you're feeling real good there. So working a little bit more through the lats. And then exhale again, draw your hands overhead right by your ears. So arms come right next to your ears. You're lengthening sit bones to fingertips. This is working the back of your legs wonderfully. So really breathe through that. One more breath, looking good. And exhale, float your hands down to the mat. Let's go a couple good breaths in center here. Relax your head and neck, just fall into that forward fold. Looking good, so nice and relaxed, square through the hips. Once again, we're gonna sweep your hands to your waist. You're gonna draw your torso up to hips height, and we're gonna sweep off toward the left-hand side. So you're gonna tuck your left toes toward the back edge of your mat and fall almost into that triangle stance again. Your torso's down at hips height. We're gonna drop your hands to waist, so hands are down by your hips. You're lengthening. Sit bones to the crown of your head again, and we're squaring through the hips. So left hip is extending back, right hip is extending forward. 
Looking good. Let's exhale, sweep your hands open into shoulders. So bring your hands a little further forward than your shoulders. Back of your hands draw up slightly to work a little bit through those lats. Poor Diana, keep coming to you for that one, sweet pea. Looking good. Exhale one more time. Draw your hands overhead so arms are by your ears. Lengthen sit bones to fingertips. That's tough. If it's too much, bend your front knee. We're going two more breaths there. Looking good, guys. And then exhale. Go ahead and drop your hands down to the mat. Tina, you're so serious and you're shaking, babe. Relax. <laughs> Let your head and neck relax. Just fall into that forward fold. Let's go a couple more good breaths here. Wonderful job. Square through the hips. Breathe through that stretch. And when you're ready, we're going to sweep your hands to your waist. Inhale with a flat back. Come on up. And then go ahead and step right up to the front edge of your mat. So spin around for me, guys, and step up to the front of your mat. We're going to stick with legs and hips. I know this is a tough class, so stick with me. We're going to float right into raised runner's lunge. So take a big step back with your left leg. Hands drop to either side of your, your leg. Your front knee is over your front ankle, so don't let it extend past. Make sure it's right over. Start sinking your hips down into the mat. Drive your left heel toward the back of the room and lengthen through your torso. Let's go two more breaths here. This is one of those poses that the deeper you sink, the more you feel the stretch. You wanna do what feels good for you. You should go where you're feeling sensation. You shouldn't be at a point where you're already in pain. We're gonna sweep both hands to the inside of your right foot. So bring both hands to the inside and let's just go for a breath there. And then we're gonna pick your, pick your left hand up and draw it right in front of you, right at shoulder's height. So left hand comes forward, palm downward. We're gonna go two more breaths there. I know that's a tough pose and we're gonna transition into one even tougher. Exhale, I want you to open up and draw your left hand up toward the ceiling. That's tough on balance, so do the best that you can do there. Looking good. We're going two more deep breaths there. When you're ready, drop that hand, palm downward, overhead. So we're going to come this way, Diane. Release your shoulder. Yes, that's the way. If you need to, drop to that back knee. If not, try and stay up on those back toes. We're gonna go a couple good breaths here. And in fact, Matt and Diane, pop up on your back toes for me if you can. Yes, that's the way. Exhale, draw your hand back up toward the ceiling. And we're gonna reach around behind your lower back with that upper hand. If you want, you can even reach underneath and bind, hold hands with yourself. You got it, so we're really rolling forward and you're gonna reach underneath. You're trying to look upward there and fall into that stretch. We're gonna go two more breaths. If not, just roll that hand behind your back and see if you can open your upper shoulder up. Looking good, exhale, go ahead and release that. That's tough, both hands drop down to the mat on the inside of your foot. We're gonna swap it up now. So bring both hands to the outside of your right foot. As soon as your left hand touches the mat, sweep up with your right hand. See if you can draw that hand up toward the ceiling. Looking good there. So a couple deep breaths there. The deeper you sink your hips down to the mat, the more work you're gonna get there. If that's too much for you, drop that back knee down. Exhale, we're gonna bring your upper hand down so your palm is downward so you're lengthening from your back heel to your fingertips so you're bringing it forward again for me diane you guys are all coming forward with your hands so come this way yes tough looking good exhale come on up to the ceiling with that hand and now see if you can reach around and bind this is a really tough bind do the best that you can do so hands come behind and you're reaching around and looking upward Nice job, Penny, hang through, very good. People are falling at home too, no worries. Exhale, go ahead and release that. Drop your hands down to the mat. You're gonna swing your right leg back. I want you to lay down on your stomach and relax a little bit. That is a really tough leg and hip series. So see if you can just hang through and relax, maybe shake your hips a little bit. Nice job. Guess what, guys? We have the other side to do on that hard series. So to hang through, prepare yourself, Penny, saying, oh my gosh. Here we go. So when you're ready, come on back up into raised runner's lunge again. We're gonna bring that left leg forward. So left leg forward, raised runner's lunge. Same thing on this side. Make sure your front knee is over your front ankle. Start sinking your hips down toward the mat. Lengthen through your right leg so you're pulling your right heel toward the back. And also lengthen through your torso so the top of your head is coming forward as well. 
See if you can come to a nice calm breath. From here, both hands are gonna float to the inside of your left foot. And from there, go ahead and straighten up your right arm and draw it right by your ear. So you're keeping that right arm up at shoulders height. We're gonna go two breaths there. So just straight forward with that arm. Exhale, see if you can just take those fingertips and draw them up toward the ceiling and open up through your torso. That's a tough transition, so if you fall through that, no worries, that's a really hard one to do. Keep sinking down with your hips, drop your back knee if this is a little bit too much for you. Looking good, exhale, sweep your hand up over your head again, palm downward, so you're lengthening from that back heel to fingertips. So you really do wanna keep opening through your shoulders and almost looking upward a little bit if you can there. Wonderful, if you're feeling okay, fingers come up toward the ceiling, we're gonna hook that upper arm behind your back. If you feel real good there, go for a bind. So see if you can bring your arm overhead and then hook underneath with that upper hand. Looking good, make sure you're opening through your top shoulder. We're going two more breaths there, looking good. Nice job, Diane, I know that's a tough one. Exhale, go ahead and float your hands down to the mat. Thank goodness, we're releasing that. Swapping to the other side, so both hands come to the outside of your left foot. When you feel like you're ready, right hand on the outside of that foot, left your le let your left fingertips float up toward the ceiling. So extend your left hand upward. You got to drop to the outside if you need, babe. That's a tough series. If you feel good, arm comes overhead, draw your palm downward, so you're lengthening back heel to fingertips. So lengthen as much as you can through that leg. Again, drop that back knee if you need to. This is a very difficult leg and hip series. Inhale, draw your hand back upward. Hook it behind your lower back. We're going for that crazy bind again. This is one of the hardest binds. So reach underneath, see if you can hold hands with yourself and look upward. You got it, exhale, go ahead and release that. Drop your hands down to the mat, draw your leg flat on back and lay down on your stomach. Whew, go for a couple of relaxing breaths here, guys. Nice job. That was a really hard leg sip series. Tough on the legs, tough on the hips. You guys did wonderful. Hard through the groin as well. When you're ready, we don't wanna lose that heat. Let's keep moving. You guys are thinking, who cares? I wanna lose my heat. Come on up, let's come on up to a standing position. Any way you wanna get there is good with me. We're gonna open up into a nice wide angle. So guys, I want you to open facing this way. Your feet are about three to five feet apart. And we're gonna start just by bending your knees and dropping your hips down to the mat. So go ahead and bend your knees, drop your hips down. See if you can bring your hands all the way down to the mat. And if you're feeling really good, drop your forearms and your face down to the mat as well. We're gonna go 10 good breaths there. So this is a hard stretch through the hips. The deeper you sink your hips, the harder you work here. Not a very glamorous pose, but it definitely does give you a wonderful stretch through the legs, through the hips, through the hip flexors as well. You got it. Let's get a little bit tougher here. If you feel like you're not up for it, I want you to keep your hands flat on the mat. Hands are gonna drop down by your waist into that airplane position if you feel good. So keep those hips sinking down, hands drop down right by your waist. Looking good. Exhale, sweep your arms forward, shoulder position. Little further forward than your shoulders, back of your hands come up. Exhale, draw your arms overhead by your ears. That's really tough, just two good breaths there. Looking good. And then go ahead and drop your hands back down to the mat. I want you to straighten up through your legs and fall into a nice wide-angled forward fold here. Relax your head and neck, just let your torso dangle downward. See if you can just give it up, so just let everything fall. Your head and neck is heavy, so just let that release and that will let you get a little further in that stretch. Bring your hands to your waist. Inhale, come on up slowly. We're gonna point your feet toward the outer edges of your mat when you get there. So you want your knees to be rolling outward in this pose and we're gonna sink down with your hips. I want you to try and keep your shoulders over your hips here. So you don't wanna lean too far forward, you wanna keep that sho those shoulders right over your hips. We're gonna go five breaths there in center. Once again, the deeper you sink with your hips, the more work you're gonna get through legs and hips. 
Looking good, everybody. Nice, relaxed breath. This is a tough pose, so see if you can just use your breath to calm you here. Inhale, go ahead and sweep your arms up to shoulders height, and exhale, sweep your right hand on the inside of your right knee, knee, left hand goes up toward the ceiling. You should feel that a little bit more through your right leg, right hip flexor. One more breath there, looking good. Lydia, thank you for smiling, man. That's a hard pose. <laughs> exhale, come on, back up to center. Same thing, other direction. Left hand on the inside of your left knee, right hand extends up toward the ceiling. Looking good, Tina. So falling deeply with your hips, extending up with your hand. Give me two more breaths there. You can do it, working through legs and hips, guys. Fabulous, exhale, come on back to center. Drop your hands to your waist, straighten up your legs, step up to the front of your mat. Thank goodness that series is over. Shake that out a little bit. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and sit down just in any cross-legged position. And we're moving to pigeon neck, so try and locate somewhere that pigeon feels okay for you guys. And I just want you to close your eyes, get nice and long through your spine, drop your chin to your chest. Take a minute to regroup a little bit, because we just went through a couple of really tough series there. All right, let's keep moving from here. So we're gonna roll right into pigeon. I want your right leg forward, your left leg back. So you're bending your right knee, drawing your left leg behind. If you are, have a couple of issues with your knees or hips, I want you to go ahead and use some blankets here and stack them right underneath your hip. So you wanna make sure your hips are nice and square, your back leg is nice and straight, your back foot is nice and straight. And the further forward that you bring your front foot, the more of a stretch you get. So you do what feels comfortable for you. Sweep your hands down by your waist. Inhale, look up, take a nice arch back. And then exhale, go ahead and fall forward slowly. Just let it go here. We've been real strong in all the poses we've done so far. See if you can let this pose be about relaxing rather than working. You can extend your hands forward. You can drop your hands and just tuck them under your forehead, or you can leave them down by your waist, whatever feels good for you. Looking good, Diane, nice and relaxed. And exhale, draw your torso up, come on, and release that. We are gonna bend your back knee, and you're gonna grab the outside of your right ankle with your right hand. You got it. We're gonna do a little bit of a twist here, so we're gonna work through your quads. So you're bending, flexing your left foot and drawing it toward the wall behind you, so giving a little bit of resistance. I want you to swing forward with your left shoulder and back with your right shoulder. So you're almost trying to look off to the right hand side. So you're pulling back with your heel, you should feel a nice stretch through your quads here. Your left quad specifically. We're going two more breaths there, see if every exhale you can open and twist a little bit further. and exhale, come on and float back to center. We're gonna get a little tougher. If that stretch was good for you, I want you to just extend your heel towards your hip. If you're feeling real good, you're gonna hook your toe into your elbow and draw your arms overhead. Tina, you gonna give that one a shot? I'll come and give you help here. So you wanna hook your toes right in by your elbow and then see if you can draw your arm overhead. Nice shot, beautiful. So that gives you an oblique stretch as well. We're going two more breaths wherever you are. Looking good, everybody. And exhale, go ahead and release that. Tina's saying, oh, thank goodness we're releasing that. Draw your leg down. We're gonna swing your right leg around and bring it right over your right. So we're knee to knee, go Mukasana. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, just start walking your hands forward and just do a nice, easy forward fold over that leg. So just relax again. This is about just falling into it. If that's too much for you, just go to a cross-legged position, Penny, if that's too much. But I want you to work a little bit through the hips here. Legs and hips, legs and hips. Wonderful, let's go two more deep breaths there. Looking good, everybody. After your second breath, and go through that slowly, draw your torso up very slowly. I want you to extend your legs forward and just shake that out a little bit, so rock them back and forth slightly. 
when you're ready, same series on the other side. So pigeon on the other side, kapotasana. Left knee is forward, right leg is back. Once again, the further forward you draw your left heel, the more work you're gonna get through your hips. So I want you to do what feels good for you here. Hands come down by your waist, utilize those blankets if you need to, absolutely, Matt. Inhale, look up and lengthen, arch back slightly, and then exhale, go ahead and fall forward and just relax into that. That's great, Matt. Make sure your hips are nice and square, your back leg and back foot are nice and straight. See if you could just let your whole upper body relax and release downward. You can either draw your arms overhead, you can tuck your hands palm to palm and bring them to your forehead, or you can leave them down by your side. So you do what feels good for you to really let your body let go and relax in this stretch. Let's go two more deep breaths here. Looking good, everybody, nice and relaxed. So we've done a lot of hard work. It's time to just relax and cool down into this. When you are ready, come on up with your torso slowly. We're gonna bend your right knee, reach back and grab your right ankle with your right hand. Try and grab your ankle as opposed to the top of your foot. You're flexing your right foot, giving a little bit of resistance. So you're pulling a little back with that heel. And when you're ready, we're gonna get that shift through the shoulder. So left shoulder comes back, right shoulder comes forward. So you're really trying to open through and almost look toward the left side. Fabulous, Lydia. Let's go two more deep breaths there. Every inhale, you're resisting a little harder with that heel. Every exhale, you're twisting a little further forward with your shoulders. And exhale, we're gonna release that. We're going to that power yoga stretch again. Tina, you're gonna give a shot on this side. So once again, if you want, you're gonna stay in that same position. Maybe draw your heel a little further towards your hip. If you want a little bit of a challenge, you're trying to try and hook your big toe with your left elbow, arms come overhead. See how easy that is, babe? <laughs> Let's give it a shot on this side. You ready? You guys stick with it if you're working here. Yes, fabulous. We're going two more breaths there. Looking good, everybody. Keep that stretch through the quad. And if you're doing that power stretch, you'll get a stretch through the obliques as well. Exhale, go ahead and release. That was a long two breaths, nice job. Go ahead and release that leg to the back. We're gonna swing your right leg around and hook it right over your left. So go Mukasana, knee to knee. The more flexible you are through the hips, the further forward you bring your heels. Penny cross the other direction this time. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, just fall forward with your stretch. So just do that nice and easily. We're not pushing too hard here, we're relaxing through. Same thing here, just let everything go. Head and neck is relaxing, shoulders are relaxing. Breath is key here. That's the difference between yoga and all other stretches. You really wanna use your breath and your body together. So every exhale allows you to sink a little further down. Your torso's just resting right on top of your thighs. One more deep breath there, looking good, everybody. And then exhale, slowly draw your hands up. And I want you to draw your legs together, bring them forward, shake that out a little bit. Matt, you can tuck your blankets off to the side. I don't think you'll need them from here on out. You got it. Whenever you're ready, I want you to go ahead and lay down flat on your back. And I want you to bend your knees, pull them in towards your chest and just rock side to side, gently massage your lower back. And we've done a lot of work with hips. So we're gonna do a little bit of a release for hips. I want you to float to happy baby. For those who know that, you can go right to it. So your knees are gonna bend. Your ankles are coming over your knees. You're opening your legs and you're trying to either grab your big toes or you can grab the insides of your foot and you're just gonna rock side to side gently. So another one of those, not a very beautiful pose, but it definitely helps to release the work that you've been doing in your hips. So your hip flexors should feel pretty good there. Looking good. When you guys feel like you're ready, you can go ahead and release and just bend and pull your knees in towards your chest. You got it. I want you to tuck your hands behind your lower back, drive your heels up toward the ceiling. We haven't done anything with abs. You guys know I have to throw that in. Heels go up toward the ceiling. Slowly lower your heels all the way down to the floor.
Take your time getting down there. Once you get down there, guys, we're ready for Shavasana. So that might speed you up a little bit. <laughs> you got it. Once you get down there, you can release your hands out from underneath your lower back. Let's get ready for Shavasana. The final pose of class is the most important in yoga called Shavasana. This pose is what you've worked the entire class to achieve, an exploration of stillness in action. As you lay on your mat, allow your entire body to come to rest. Let your feet flop open, your hands down by your sides with your palms upward. Close your eyes. Let your mind and body relax completely. The purpose of this time is to just be. Be still in your heart, still in your body, still in yourself. Try to remain in this pose for five to 10 minutes, finding health and harmony within. Thank you for your time and hard work today. Namaste. If you'd like to continue to improve your strength, stamina, flexibility, and balance, order Power Yoga for Athletes. This hour-long video is for yogis who embrace a more active lifestyle. Call 1-866-629-1591 or visit adrianreed.com. For tips and secrets on Power Yoga, visit WUSF.org and click on the Power Yoga icon. You'll find frequently asked questions and show information from Adrian Reed.